What is going on everybody? It is the Chick-fil-A Cows here bringing you guys my Super Bowl game. I am 10-0 this season. Head-to-head -head, going for that completely undefeated season. I think I've done this, I know at least twice, maybe two or three times in Mutt before. It seems like I always can get to the Super Bowl pretty easily, but actually finishing it off can be pretty difficult in the past. But undefeated season, always exciting. Trying to get a nice run game going to start. Not a lot doing there. Brings up the early third and three. Not really what I want to be, but after missing the wide open guy down the middle, we still picked up the first down with Barnage who's a little bit expensive for a cheap tight end, but the speed does come in handy. Just don't expect him to hold on to it after a hit stick. But right there, Barnage, actually, I, I mean, I take that back. Sometimes he does hold on. It it's surprising, but man, that card actually can come in really handy if you utilize your tight ends like I do after Antonio Gates. He brought an all-out blitz. We knew what was coming, had the go route ready. No problem there. So even though that one was Gates instead of Barnage, uh, man, speed can make a huge difference if you utilize your tight end. So second and two here, already feeling good after driving down the field, and he does the toss plate. No problem. We got McCourty, and, and that happens. He just tucked the ball and uh, completely missed him. That reminded me a lot of the little hop step in Madden, or whatever you call it, stutter step I used to use all the time that they don't have in this Madden. I don't know. I might have to try using that, see if that works. But D'Angelo Williams spinning out of tackles. The 50, the 40, the 30. See you later. He is going to go all the way. Just like that, we answer back. And at one, on one hand, I'm thinking, uh-oh. We have a shootout on our hands. On the other hand, I'm thinking, we have a shootout on our hands. This is always super fun in Madden when you're going back and forth. It's a little scary, though, because you can't stop them. You're thinking one stop can completely change the game. But to get one in the Super Bowl always makes for a really exciting and nervous, nerve-wracking game, knowing that one, just one mistake can completely just end the game for either side. Second and ten here, pitching to Johnson. Man, we have got to do something about this run game. It's only the first quarter. Johnson already has... 113 yards that card just always seems to go off on me I, I might actually pick that up I know I've said that but I really am considering it now on the first and ten taking it inside the five with that nice vertical pass second and goal here I decide to bring uh, a blitz nothing doing and my Levante I'm sorry Malcolm Smith decided he didn't want to jump he's not getting enough pay he's not getting paid enough not getting enough contracts apparently jumping for it's not in his job description but no problem because we are still driving down the field with John Brown with a nice block there Amari Cooper apparently one blocks all he can do in his contract series <laughs> he got one he's like okay I'm done I'm gonna go get some Gatorade so first and ten here looking looking rolling out of the pocket uh oh some pressure and he missed me gonna take it inside the ten for a first and goal Trying to go up by one touchdown like we've been doing. Just trying to stay ahead of him. And on second and goal, all that space in the middle. Too much to resist. Ted Ginn taking it in to make it 21-14. to 14. Man, okay, so right where we want to be, sort of. We just hope that if he scores on this possession, that it will leave us enough time to drive down the field and get another score. Because he gets the ball to start the second half. So huge possession here. A nice open field tackle hit stick right there by Jimmy Smith. Brings up a third and four. We bring the blitz and we got him in the backfield. Take that, Jameis Winston. Brought him down. He decides to punt. I could hardly believe it. In a game like this, just giving the ball back to your opponent can completely end the game if they're able to score. So I was pretty shocked, but he did it. So I'm thinking, let's go up by two possessions. We kind of have to because he gets the ball back. And on second and 10, Barnage over the middle, breaking more tackles inside the 20. So second and 10, I'm like, all right, I've been passing. Let's try to fool him with a screen pass. And somehow D'Angelo doesn't have that picked, gets it and takes it inside the 10 for a first and goal. Clock still running, call a timeout. I go five wide and again, all that space over the middle. Barnage just is like, thank you, free touchdown, 28 to 14. Now that can be a little deceiving sometimes, but with the way this guy was playing, that was just going to be wide open. He really should have played better. Now, third quarter here, I'm like, all right, up by two possessions. We're in good shape, been moving the ball the whole time. But Johnson, uh, only, uh, only like uh, 120 yards after starting off like, 113 in the first we've really shut him down a really good hit stick right there though making it third and two so Johnson we've shut down a little bit brings up a huge play third and two he drops back under pressure and it's knocked out of there and he I don't know what he was doing I don't I thought he would have at least gone for it on fourth and two but he was like all right I didn't get it on third and two I didn't get it on second and one I'm just going the wrong direction I'm out of here so we won the Super Bowl completely undefeated season I think is it 11? I think we were 
no, 10 and 0. So this is 11 and 0. I'm pretty sure. So really good start to Mutt so far. Uh, second head-to-head -head season, Super Bowls in both, first win in the second season. Um, for those of you asking, I will be doing Mutt Roulette. I'm just, I'm trying to get better at the game. There's still a lot of kinks I need to work out before I can, uh, start a series like that with a low overall, but it is coming. I'm going to start doing Draft Champions, and that should be pretty exciting. I don't know a lot about it, but you draft your team, go at it, and I've heard the rewards are pretty nice. So let's see, two head-to-head -head seasons, 21-2. Definitely not bad. So that is all for this episode, guys. Super Bowl champions eat more chicken. I will see you guys all next time.